Good morning. Today is the 18th day of, Oct of uh, November in this 2021st year of our Lord. Uh, we're still in Williamsport, had a nice evening, uh, have uh, an exciting opportunity this evening going with my grandson, Zachary, who is our, uh, a wrestler, a uh, senior in his uh, graduation year coming up. Uh, and we're going to a Penn State wrestling match up at Penn State. So uh, pretty excited about that option, plus meeting up with some other friends throughout the day. Uh, we begin this day, fair weather here. It's a little chilly here on the back porch. The sun hadn't quite made it around, uh, but we do so in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. From Luke in the 13th chapter. At that very hour, some Pharisees came and said to Jesus, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today, and tomorrow on the third day I finish my course. Nevertheless, I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet should perish away from Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets and stoning those who are sent to you, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wing, and you would not. Behold, your house is forsaken, and I tell you, you will not see me until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. John Jasper, a black preacher from uh, years 1812, his birth to his death in 1901, writes the following. But I have a word this afternoon for my own brethren. They are the people for whose souls I got to watch. For them I've got to stand and report at the last. They are my sheep and I am their shepherd and my soul is knit to them forever. It's not for me to be troubling you with these questions about those heavenly bodies. Our eyes go far beyond the smaller stars. Our home is clean out of sight of those twinkling orbs. The chariot that will come to take us to our Father's mansion will sweep out by those flickering lights and never halt till it brings us in clear view of the throne of the Lamb. Don't hitch your hopes to no sun nor stars. Your home's got Jesus for its light, and your hopes must travel up that way. I preach this sermon just to settle the minds of my few brethren, and I repeat it because kind friends wish to hear it, and I hope it will do honor to the Lord's word. But nothing short of the pearly gates can satisfy me. And I charge my people, fix your feet on the solid rock, your hearts on Calvary, and your eyes on the throne of the Lamb. These strifes and griefs will soon be over. We shall see the King in his glory and be at ease. And that's from the unmatched Negro philosopher and preacher by William D. Hatcher. And I share this prayer as well from John Wesley. Lamb of God, I look to thee. Thou shalt my example be. Thou art gentle, meek, and mild. Thou wast once a little child. Fain I would be as thou art. Give me thy obedient heart. Thou art pitiful and kind. Let me have thy loving mind. Thou didst live to God alone. Thou didst never seek thine own. Thou thyself didst never please. God was all thy happiness. Loving G, loving Yesu, gentle lamb, in thy gracious hand I am. Make me, Savior, what thou art. Live thyself within my heart. Lord God, I thank you for the beauty of this new day and the rest that you afforded us, the travel mercies of yesterday, the gift of family that we cherish, and the gift of friendships that are precious indeed. 
Bless us throughout this day that we might be true and good reflections of your love wherever we may go, whatever we may do, whatever we may say, that you might be revealed in all of your glory through the goodness of our lives lived to those that we meet along the way. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the gift of your love that sustains us when we may grow weary. We thank you for setting our mind's eye upon the Lamb, the Lamb that has suffered for our sake, and for the kingdom that is far beyond all that we could ever conceive of or imagine that shall be ours one day. Let our hearts be ever set upon that, and therein find our hope and our help. And sustain us with the gift of your Holy Spirit to guide us along the way care for those that have needs far greater than we. I continue to lift up in prayer grandson Sam and Sarah, Evelyn, for Becky, for each that are known unto you that we commend to your care and your keeping as we remember them in this moment. To your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, love and serve the Lord, this day and forevermore. Amen.